Yeah. I had a good positive and constructive meeting with Mike Pompeo. We covered the whole range of bilateral issues and particularly focused on the Middle East. We made clear we recognise the danger and the threat that Iran poses to the region. We also recognise the US right to self-defence. At the same time, of course, we want to see the tensions de-escalated. We want to find a diplomatic route through. And that's why I think the President's remarks today about a diplomatic resolution were so important. Of course, it also needs the government in Iran to be willing and committed to that outcome as well. Well, the first thing is we are absolutely committed, as our American and European partners are, to avoiding uh, Iran acquiring a nuclear weapon. And uh, we've obviously been committed to the JCPOA, but we've reached a point where non-compliance has been so acute in the most recent steps taken by Iran that obviously we're going to be looking very hard at what should happen next. We want to see Iran come back to full compliance, and we'll be looking at all measures, including uh, potentially triggering the DRM. Well, there's an opportunity to build on this deal, uh, but ultimately the objective is the most important thing, which is to avoid uh, the risk of Iran seeking, let alone acquiring, a nuclear weapon. Well, we don't discuss intelligence matters or comment on them or operational matters, but of course uh, the US has the right to self-defence and I don't think uh, anyone would look at the role of General Soleimani in the region and not be aware of his role in uh, organising funding proxies with the destabilising effect they have for the whole region and the threat they pose to Western interests and indeed Western lives. But you're it's not up for us to substitute our judgment for the operational decision the US made, but there's clearly a right of self-defence under international law. But there was a whole pattern of behaviour uh, prior to that which showed Iran not complying with its obligations in relation to the nuclear issue, uh, the destabilising activities that have been legion throughout the region. Of course, we've got an uh, issue, and other countries do, with the treatment of dual nationals in detention. What we now need to see is a de-escalation of tensions and a diplomatic route through, as the President said uh, in his remarks today. And what we'd like to see is that the Iranians be committed to that diplomatic solution as well. And just finally, on something quite different, um, what kind of a loss is it for the UK to have the Duke and Duchess of Sussex say they're stepping back from royal life and potentially splitting their time between the UK and, and North America? I think that's for them to decide and that's a matter for the royal family.